I started recording this video a few times and I just feel black. I, I, I don't feel upbeat and I, it's not that I don't feel good. I'm, I feel fine. I'm, I'm happy, but I just feel, I'm not feeling, you know, like really, I don't know. Look like it might rain, so I need to get through this video. I didn't record last week because of the rain. Uh, we had a hurricane on that Thursday, so it was raining all day on Wednesday, so just stayed in the house. Uh, one of these days, I'll set up inside and maybe go live one day. One day, I don't know when that is. But I, I probably need to do that just to get out of my comfort zone, but that's a whole nother subject. Um, I wanna share three signs of increased intuition because I feel like that's what I've been going through lately. So I just want to share that with you all and um, just just get out here and make a video. It's still difficult. It's getting it's difficult to kind of show up out here sometimes um, because I'm still healing and learning to love myself at the same time. So while you're doing that and then trying to inspire at the same time is not very easy, you know, but I'm trying. I'm here. OK, hope the wind did too. So fam, um, three signs of increased intuition. Number one would be synchronicities, right? So um, last month there was a lot of 444s and 44s for me. But this month it started, it's been the sevens, right? So let me tell y'all what happened on Monday, right? So I'm leaving work and i'm pulling out of there and i put get go to a light and there's a car in front of me with triple sevens on the plate so i'm looking at it like hmm, there goes those sevens three four five minutes away at the Publix, i go to get myself something to snack on and my total comes up to six dollars and 77 cents so i'm like hmm. so i'm walking outside and i'm looking at this receipt and I'm like getting blown away by this receipt because not only is the 677 total there, but there's a cashier number or something that says CO777, something else with a 77, then the store number is 707. It was just like sevens all over this receipt. And I'm just like looking at this receipt, walking to the car, looking at this receipt, like what the, you know, what is going on? And then there's a car backing out and I see it, I stop and look up triple sevens on the plate of the car in front of me and I'm just like you know when you you for us when we experience this sometimes it almost seems kind of freaky so somebody could be walking by and, I, and I'm like oh like when I seen the triple sevens I'm like oh lord and somebody's walking by me and looking at me like what's wrong with her <laughs> so I'm trying to keep a straight face because it kind of freaks you out a little bit if it happens in this way. I had that same experience with the twos at that same uh, Publix. And I, I, I met, you know, gave you all that story on a different video before, but um, those are my numbers. Born on the 22nd in 77. And um, what I will say about the sevens is it is a, a number of positive change, like, uh, Things changing for the better may still require some work. And it's also a very highly spiritual number, a number of learning and researching and um, and, and a number of being on the right path. That's the sevens. Uh, I went through that stage before and I don't know if it's uh, an encouragement with my higher self or spirit guides, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you know, just letting me know that just, just keep going. You're heading in the right direction. I have been hesitant, hesitant about making videos, even about making this one. I keep questioning everything um, because I'm just going through that stage of just still not understanding and still trying to just allow myself to live and go with the flow of life. And that's just not, it's not easy to do. <laughs> it's just not easy to do. And when I thought that stage was gone, I'm like, just it's just it's just a repeat. It's a different level of it every time, you know. So that's where I feel like I am right now. So that was that's one of the synchronicities uh, that I've been experiencing. But that is a sign of increased intuition. 
It's usually the higher self speaking to you. Number two, the second sign of increased intuition is if this happens to you, when you are trying to figure something out, and when you do figure out, or you feel like you figured it out, you get a feeling of understanding, like satisfaction, or you feel calm or at peace, that's your intuition. That's a sign of increased intuition. When it, it speaks to you that way, it's confirming it for you. Um, you know, there, there could be times where you think you figured something out and you're still questioning it. Well, you know, maybe it could be, that's not usually the intuition. That's kind of like maybe even fear sometimes. But when you get to the place that you feel peace and calm after you understand something or figure out something, and it's figuring out things that you may not have all the proof for, but when you do feel like you just figured it out, that's a sign, or you feel that peace, that's a sign of increased intuition. And the sun is out for number three. Number three, fam feeling like and I mentioned this before feeling like you can feel everyone's feelings everyone's true intentions everyone's motives like you can feel how people feel about you and I mean everyone right when it gets like that that's an increase in your intuition now one thing I must admit that we got to be careful with right is now that I have gotten to this, this stage of just feeling everybody's feelings, feeling how everybody's feeling about me, their true intentions and stuff like that, it may even traumatize us in a way or disappoint us in a way where now we're just expecting that out of everybody. We're expecting that from everybody. And we even may have a habit of making things worse than they are or seeing things worse than they are yeah 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 this situation this person whatever this is they probably are some bs absolutely but because of the fact that we have been like so disappointed with with these humans we seem to just expect all of them to be on some bs we just expect it from all of them. And when you start only seeing the bad and only expecting bad, then that's all you're gonna experience. So I have to check myself on that. And maybe some of you too, um, gotta, you know, gotta stay positive. Gotta, you know, that's what we wanna manifest. And, and let me tell you like this, like I said, it's, not easy to get out here and try to inspire while you are trying to heal at the same time it's not because you're criticizing yourself there's just so much to it as you really think that you've gotten so far it's just you get further and you get further it gets easier it gets easier but it seems to get real difficult before it gets easier but fam, um, hang in there. Keep hope alive. And um, I mean, I, like just coming out here today, I really didn't want to, I just wanted to lay in the bed and watch a movie and just be in my little hole and not sh express myself and share, but I'm trying to fight through it. And things, believe it or not, things have been um, lightening up a bit emotionally and everything else but um, it's almost like the aftershocks are still you know <laughs> still hanging in there so fam I just wanted to make a quick video and share a little something with you all I have a very important appointment today and so um, you know good things but um, let me go ahead and do what I gotta do I will see you all next time peace and blessings